pro gamers and welcome to channel nova today i'm going to be doing the patch notes for call of duty advanced warfare uh, these patch notes came out on march 11 2015 so that'll be going up the same day as the patch came out on ps4 uh, I'll try and put as much of this as i can into the description so uh, go ahead and uh, if you want to just read them, just read them there in the description, at least as much as I can fit. And um, otherwise I'm going to go ahead and do this because, yeah. Alright, so this is for all of the systems. Uh, PS3 is still pending as of right now. Um, Xbox has already gotten theirs, but there are some Xbox specific ones. So uh, for PC and PS4, you have your Havoc new map content and stuff. You get uh, all of the 10 A4 variants. And uh, the, rota uh, the maps have been added into the rotation. In-game updates, full royalty character loot set is unlocked. Connectivity optimizations, connectivity matchmaking improvements when in a party. Added the 15 Master Prestige ranks and Grandmaster Prestige. Added 15 more daily supply drop challenges. Fixed a rare issue where players were not able to spawn into the game. Fixed the sound of the SAC3 when the suppressor attachment uh, was attached to not play in stereo to all players on the map. Uh, fix a rare issue where players would spawn without a gun. Players will now be shown a, uh, will be shown a player does not own map hat message when player without Havoc DLC joins their party. Added the ability for purchase created class slots to appear in private matches for Xbox One only. Connectivity improvements to Xbox Live servers when returning from energy saving mode. And again, Xbox One and 360 only. Fixed a rare crash issue with signing out with one player while split screen. And for the 360, reduced the max number of players in a private match to 10 for performance. For PS4 only, uh, improvements made to party chat systems, audio handling. Weapon balancing, I think the thing that everybody wants to know the most about. Adjustments affect base weapon and all loot variants. Heavy weapons increased player movement speed by 5%. Corrected the scopes for the AE4. M14 has reduced recoil. AR160 has uh, increased mag size from 30 to 45 default. MR9 has increased damage, and this makes it so it is a 5 shot kill max at all ranges, and um, decreased time between bursts. SN6 reduced recoil, KF5 mid damage range increased, Atlas 45 mid, da mid damage range increased, max damage range increased, PDW increased damage, shotguns reduced spread when using gung ho, finally, S12 increased fire rate, increased damage, EPM3 reduced recoil. Links reduce recoil, ASM-1 slightly reduce initial fire rate, so you're not firing at 1000 RPM, uh, and you can't just like spam it. So UI updates, rare supply drop area messages when opening fixed, added a display for how many free slots you can have in the armory from the redeem items menu, replace camo images for diamond royalty with the correct images and create a class, replace Valkyrie loadout for Centurion loadout for players who were incorrectly, incorrect rewarded this character gear and clan wars fix an issue where duplicates of unlocked items were showing in the new items list fix an issue where some creative class were showing the incorrect lock status when selecting a permanent unlock when prestiging adjusted kill feed speed from four to six seconds ps4 only fix a rare issue where players would experience delay when viewing their friends list in game challenge updates remove the ability to earn more than one of a non-redeemable character gear from the daily supply job challenges. Players will no longer receive daily supply job challenge for non-redeemable gear they have already acquired. Remove the incorrect challenge for the crossbow scope to unlock a 10 kills. Store updates, Xbox One only. Players with the other profiles who purchased DLC on the same console are now able to properly purchase DLC on their own profile. Emblem updates, fixing the issue emblem would sometimes incorrectly or would sometimes apply incorrectly to the player card. So score streak up tree, up, updates. The sentry gun will now die in one melee hit. Decrease the amount of time attack the player has to hold X or square to exit a remote controlled sentry turret. Unmodified missile strike missiles now travel faster when boosting. Um, the Vulcan laser now fires for a longer period of time before it runs out. Rank play updates added probation time for players who do not complete or disconnect from rank play matches will properly award division points in the case of a forfeited match. Broadcaster updates 
adjusted the colors and overall look for broadcast remote to make text and names easier to read and a better experience for viewers. Fixed a rare issue where HUD elements would get stuck on the broadcaster screen. Game mode specific updates. For search and destroy, added UI to show if you are attacking or defending at the start of the round. One shot, uh, increased kill confirm score, uh, limit to 80 in the one shot mosh pit playlist. Gun game added the leaderboard for it. Momentum adjusted spawn locations for drift. Uplink fish fix an issue where the satellite junk could get stuck on the clown in the sign. Max, map specific updates. Uh, fixed various automatic exploits across different multiplayer maps. Fixed an issue where care packages were being removed from areas of the map on drift after a dynamic map event. Fixed an issue where indestructible objects would show up on the sideshow map. Adjusted A bomb site location on sideshow. Fixed a performance issue with some of the dynamic map pieces on core. Adjusted uh, spawns locations for drift. Uh, fixed aerial cell drone and recon drone out of world exploits on slide on sideshow. Exo survival updates ver ver fixed various out of map exploits across all different, not all but different multiplayer maps. And for zombies, added ability for players to pause the game in single player. Uh, fix an issue where players are not able to join match together while in a party. Fix various out of map exploits which players could remain in place and not be attacked by zombies. Remove the ability to host. For the host to start the match before players are ready in private match. Fix an issue for the 2020 achievements so weapons that are reacquired after leveling up to level 20 still count towards the achievement status. Exo Zombies intro movie is now skippable. Fix the rare crash in Exo Zombies. Fix an issue where certain camos were missing for the ARX 160. Fix an issue where the pop up messaging for player 2 can only be closed by player 1. Fix an issue where after action report was showing incorrect map info after joining a private match. So that is everything for this March 11th update, uh, including stuff that was only for PS4 and only for Xbox. Xbox did get this approximately a week ago on the 3rd, but um, PlayStation gets it after because PlayStation doesn't have that contract. Anyway, um, so that's that's about it for the patch notes. If you want to stick around to the end where I open the supply drop that I get, uh, I'm pleasantly surprised and I'm very happy because uh, I, the gun that I get is... Um, I've been wanting it. I have the other Elite variant and, well, I give it away. I got an Elite gun in a supply drop. And I was still recording when I... Uh, open it I was like well hey if I get something I get something and look at that I got something so if you want to stick around to the end and watch that I'm pretty uh, pretty happy about that I haven't gotten a chance to try it but I'm going to um side note uh for everything else though we're gonna um the video I put up last night the FIFA thing uh did not do 60 frames because I did not render it in 60 frames so it only uploaded in 30 and for some reason it took forever to upload. Like a video at 7 minutes should not take that upload long to upload. It should take no more than like 45 minutes for me normally. So I am going to look into this. But for this time I want to try. Um, we're going to try and upload this at 720, 60 frames. And if it goes well I'm going to uh, move it up to 1080, 60. So um, yeah uh, I don't know what happened last night. Well, I, d I actually do know what happened with the uh, with it uploading at 30, but I don't know why it took so long. It took like f three or four hours. So, yep, that's about it. And then we got disconnected here. Unfortunately, I think we were probably going to win, but I think the host just rage quit. And, uh, yeah, I'm about to open up the supply drop and get an OP. Not OP, but pretty good weapon. Just for uh, just some random supply drop. All right, remember to like, comment, subscribe. Thanks for watching. Keep programming. Bye.